In this video, we're demonstrating the multiple uses of frozen CPU part number T00-07, which is a dual head ATX connector removal tool that we manufacture uh, right here in Rochester, New York. The reason we manufactured these is because it's combining two different tools, one with two prongs on one end and another with just a single prong. We're going to start with the the double side here, and this is used to remove what's commonly known as an ATX pin. That's the same pin that's used on your 4 and 8 pin motherboard connectors and your 6 and 8 pin PCI Express connectors. Uh, the key with the, the double prong side here is to get one of each prongs on opposite sides of the pins. Usually we recommend pushing the wire into the connector as far as possible to ensure less contact between the pin and the connector. And you just slide the tool in there and the pin should come out easily. If you feel like you're forcing it then it's probably not um, hasn't been loosened enough from the connector and you just go down the line one after another and as I said this also works on 4 and 8 pin with the same thing, it's the same type of pin inside these connectors same deal. Now some uh, plastic connectors have a little bit more room inside than others um, Customers have often found that filing down the prongs on the tool uh, make them a little bit thinner sometimes helps in certain instances. And like I said earlier, the, the they should come out easy. So if you're forcing it, you've probably, like in this case, I'm going to push the wire further in here. Give it another go. And it comes right out. As for the single Prong end of this tool can be used for my, um, many uses, one of which would be a floppy pin. Uh, you just use the, the prong to depress the, the barb inside of the connector there, and you can pull them out one by one. And also, this is uh, commonly used with a three or four pin fan connector. They give you access to the barbs right on the top of the connector itself. And that should do it. Uh, this is pretty much, like I said, used for any ATX style pin, floppy pins, or fan pins. This will also work with PWM fan pins.